This is Transformers 96 here with another end of the year video. This time I'm going to be ranking my top five figures that I'm most looking forward to that are coming out in 2017. Um, these can only be figures that have been put on pre-order so the pictures have to be out and things like that and uh, and I have to know that they are being released in 2017 and obviously you know uh, nothing that I just kind of like am hoping is coming out this all has to be official things. So starting off the list at number five here I'm going to put the SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn figure. Now figure arts uh, I've really enjoyed their products. I figure, I, I feel like the price to get them imported to uh, the United States is a little bit uh, more than they're, than they're worth in my opinion and therefore I'm not pre-ordering a whole bunch of figure arts uh, figures. However, in this case I'm totally willing to do it and it's uh, it's the Harley Quinn figure obviously. I think this figure looks spectacular, has one of the best face sculpts of Harley Quinn from any company in this scale that's making a Suicide Squad movie one. I think that it looks great. I love the fact that she comes with three expressions. The articulation looks good and of course figure arts usually has good articulation and just as a figure it looks pretty perfect. Uh, really not too much more I could have hoped for and uh, therefore I'm extremely excited for it. That figure should be coming out quite soon too, so it is nice that uh, I should be getting it pretty uh, soon. Now four spots got to go to the Marvel Legends um, uh, Vulture figure from Spider-Man Homecoming. This is a figure that I am super excited for. Uh, it's it's obviously, from what we know, what it sounds like is that the regular figure, the Vulture figure himself, is going to be released as a regular figure, and then the whole wing assembly is going to be the build figure. Um, but regardless, I'm going to buy it, and therefore uh, uh, I'm extremely excited for this as a, as a whole with the wings and everything. I think that it looks great. As we know, Marvel Legends has great articulation, and uh, uh, and I'm a huge uh, Spider-Man villain fan, so to get a Marvel Legends um, adaptation of Vulture is going to be excellent from the from a movie perspective, and uh, I cannot wait for it. It's going to be fun. Um, also, you know, because of his very you know crazy big wings, I don't know how many companies are actually going to make Vulture. I doubt Figure Arts will make Vulture. Um, there's a chance Hot Toys will, but I doubt it. Hot Toys, I would guess, will make him and show him at events, but will never put him on pre-order like they do with just about all the Marvel villains. So, uh, you know, as much as I hope that we will get more versions of him, I think this is going to be the only one, or it, it, there's a decent chance that it will be the only one, and therefore I'm extremely excited because I can't wait for this character, so I'm very excited for the figure. Third place has to go to the King Arts Yellow Jacket. Now this will be my first King Arts figure. Uh, I don't have any of the others, um, simply because it's kind of hard to start collecting a new toy line, uh, because you know, it's 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 a big investment, and you also don't quite know how the figures are going to turn out. Even if you watch reviews, you know, and things, uh, you won't quite know how you'll personally feel about them. Um, but with this, this I'm totally willing to take the gamble with because I don't have an alternative. Uh, possibly if, uh, you know, Figure Arts or Marvel Legends or Hot Toys or somebody else made a Yellow Jacket, then maybe I wouldn't be getting this figure. However, this is the only Yellow, ja yellow Jacket that's ever been made and it's ever going to be made, um, to be quite honest. Uh, Frank. So I'm super excited to get it because uh, I love Marvel villains. I mean, even just from a design perspective, they're great. And uh, and it's disappointing that we hardly get figures of them. So to get a nice um, one looks awesome. And I'm, uh, it, it looks like it's really well executed. It looks like it's going to be fun. Has good articulation and has die cast, which is great. The price point is a little high, but um, because it's not an armor, it is kind of lower than their other figures, which is does make it even more attractive. And uh, I'm very excited to get that one. It should be coming out about the second quarter of 2016. That's going to be a good one. Now my second spot goes to the Rebel Tech Venom figure. Uh, Rebel Tech is a figure line that I just started collecting this year and they have produced some amazing figures. Um, my favorite figures of the year are actually Rebel Tech uh, with uh, Ultron Prime as well as um, with, oh, Deadpool, yeah. So I I, I, I love uh, Rebel Tech as a company now. They have my full attention, my full support, because I know that their products are great, and this Venom looks just as great as the rest, uh, and with fantastic stylized proportions, with excellent um, accessories, and what seems to be fantastic uh, articulation. So this figure is going to be an excellent addition. I am going to get the Spider-Man from this series as well, so that'll make posing this Venom just even better. Now, my number one uh, figure, or at least figure line, that I'm most looking forward to in 2016 is the DC Collectibles Films Premium line. Now this is a line that was teased to us quite a while ago and was originally supposed to come out in October and with a much wider selection of characters. However, unfortunately, um, 
a lot of stuff has happened to this line since that. Uh, a lot of figures have been canceled. The release dates have been pushed back. So this line uh, is is very scary to me because I, I don't know how it's going to turn out or what the future holds for it. However, two of them have been released, the Armored Batman and the Superman, both of which I have coming. They'll be here uh, within this week, depending on when I post this. Uh, they'll be here very soon, and I'm extremely excited to, uh, to open them up and see how good they actually are. And then I do have... Um, Wonder Woman and Harley Quinn pre-ordered, and I, I can't wait for them. I, I hope that they do come out soon. And then I do plan to get Aquaman and Captain Boomerang, but I, I really don't know uh, how many figures are actually going to come out. I could totally see them canceling more figures. I think that there's actually a decent chance that they'll do that. So, uh, so we'll have to see how this line actually takes form and uh, how it'll actually go down. I'm really hoping that they do continue it and they don't cancel any more figures. Uh, uh, but I, I do have a feeling that some more cancellations are going to be a uh, coming down the line here, unfortunately, but really excited for this line in general because it seems to be like the, it seems to be like an import series, um, but that's not imported basically. It, it has all the same articulation and, and the quality of import figures, but it's made, you know, locally basically, so we don't have to pay the import charges, the shipping fees and things like that. Um, so basically they're, they're like figure arts and Revel Tech and play arts and all that stuff, but just with a lower price tag, which sounds great to me, let me tell you. So assuming that this line is as good as it, as it seems to be, uh, this can be a really truly amazing uh, figure line and I'll be very excited for the future of it. However, I feel like I feel like Wolverine and I'm uh, sorry, I mean um, Wonder Woman and uh, Harley Quinn will come out, but then the others might all get canceled. I'm not sure, but at the moment Superman and Batman are coming out. I can't wait to get them and I can't wait for the future of this toy line. So there you go. That's a breakdown of the figures that I'm most looking forward to uh, for movies that come out next year. Or no, sorry, that's the these are the figures I'm most looking forward to that come out next year that are regular figures. I will be doing another video like this, but we'll just be doing it with Hot Toys figures. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what you guys think of my picks. Let me know which figures you're most looking forward to in 2017. And thanks so much for watching.